I'm using three and a half for the material. So I will fold it into two and fold it again, as you can see. So it's four pieces now, as you can see. So I will start to measure my neck. So I'm taking three. Take your own as you want. And the three here. And the seven and a half. So I will connect the line and shape my neck. So that place I will open it. So take your back measurement. From your back measurement, take your ample. So I'm taking seven and a half. And taking two, you can take one, you can take one and a half, it depends on what you want. So I will take my full sleeve. And take my round sleeve, round measurement sleeve, and my sewing. So I will take the full length. Take your own length, your own full length. So I'm taking my. So the done, I will take like 11 or 12. So I will connect it to the sleeve now. So as you can see, so we cut it off now. So here I'm taking one and a half. This is the back one, and I will cut it. So I will cut it off. First of all, I will cut the back one off and take the back one inside before cutting the neck in the front. Front neck. As you can see, this is the front neck now. So I will open it. So I'm bringing the back out again and they cut the up hole. I will bend this place, bend the neck. Pipe the neck, the ample, I will pipe them. Use the material to cut what you will use to pipe them or to turn them out. As you can see, I have turned them out with the glue. See? See, I will pipe the hand now. After piping the hand, I will fix the rope in the front that you will use to tie it in the back and fix the elastic rubber. So I'm measuring where we fix the 
rope now this is 15 from the shoulder 15 so As you can see, the rope will be two. This is the elastic. I will fix the elastic in the front and attach my rope for this side and the other side. So I will go and join them, attach them and sew the side. <laughs> so I'm finished. You can see how we look like. If you want to wear it like sleeveless, so see, this is the rope. We will tie it on the back. And 